हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सुरेंद्र जैन मास्टर टीचर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड वेदांतु टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग फ्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ जेई मेंस 2025 ऑफ फेज वन दैट वाज कंडक्टेड रिसेंटली इन माय ओपिनियन दीज क्वेश्चंस आर नॉट हैविंग प्रॉपर लैंग्वेज एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट मे बी देयर नन ऑफ द ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट और मे बी सम आंसर चेंज कैन बी देयर डेट एस सी वॉट आर दोज क्वेश्चन सो आई हैव टेकन दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट विच इज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी जनवरी सेकेंड शिफ्ट हियर वी आर गिवन that there is a line x plus y equal to 1 okay which will meet x axis at a y axis at b and this is origin okay now a right angle triangle am and is inscribed in this triangle such that m lies on ob m lies on ob and n lies on ab okay if area of the triangle amn is 4 upon 9 okay of the area of triangle oab and we are given that ratio of an to nb is lambda ratio 1 then what is the sum of all possible values of lambda now the problem here is that they have given that it's a right angle triangle but they have not given whether this angle is 90 degree or this angle is 90 degree that is the whole dispute here okay now how we can do this question we can take because this line is x plus y equal to 1 so i can take n point as alpha comma 1 minus alpha m point we can take 0 comma beta okay now the very first thing they have given is that area is 4 by 9 of the area of triangle oab so from here you will get uh, the area of this thing you know using determinant we can do it and we will uh, get certain relation between alpha and beta i will not solve it here i will show you the solution please see i have done this question so this is my solution i'll show you this first this is a portion please see yeah so area is 1 upon 2 mod of this thing because one point is 0 comma beta so 0 beta 1 okay one point is 1 0 so 1 0 1 and one point is alpha comma 1 minus alpha so if you find this area you will be getting this is to be Uh, as one by two, one minus alpha, one minus beta. Both alpha and beta has to be within zero to one. So these two quantities will be positive. So I can definitely say this product has to be equal to four by nine times one by two. That is the area of this triangle. So one minus alpha, one minus beta has to be equal to four by nine for all cases, whether you are having ninety degree at N or we are having ninety degree at M. Now case one, if you take Angle 90 degree at N, then you can do the calculation. Okay, uh, what we will be doing? We will have slope of this is minus one. Slope of line AB is minus one. So slope of this MN has to be one. So we can use slope formula. One minus alpha minus beta upon alpha is equal to one will give you this relation. Okay, and using this relation also we can you know find a quadratic in alpha which gives you two values of alpha that is two by three and one by three. Now corresponding to two by three, you will get beta as minus one by three, which is not possible because we want a triangle to be inscribed. So beta equal to minus one by three is rejected. But for alpha is equal to one by three, beta coming out to be one by three, that is acceptable value. Okay. Now if alpha is one by three here, now ratio a n upon n b comes out to be two. Okay. Now those who ignore this thing that beta is not equal to uh, minus one by three, they can find lambda for this also, and that comes out to be one upon two. Corresponding to this, if you do that, which is not required, which should not be done, but if you do, you will get lambda is equal to one by two. Okay. So with this thing in their mind, might be they have given two options like this. That one option is two because that is the Only thing we are getting for this case one, and lambda is equal to one by two. If you consider mistakenly, then the sum will become five by two. So that's why they have given this option also, which is actually wrong option, and they have given correct option as four. That is two. Okay. Now the problem is that what if angle is ninety degree at M? In this entire question, you can go through the language of this question. There is never they have never written that right angle triangle AMN. Where is the angle 90 degree? Obviously, this angle cannot be 90 degree at A, but at M and N you can have. Now I have done this calculation for M. I'll show you how. If angle M is 90 degree, then slope of you know AM that will be beta upon minus one, and slope of MN. 
which is which is same here as i've used is equal to minus 1 now you will get this relation okay now if you do this calculation if you do this calculation actually you get a very you know complicated cubic okay if you use this relation because in every relation this has to be true so here you can see yeah you here you can sorry yeah yeah, here you can see we are getting this kind of cubic if you eliminate alpha from here so you are getting this kind of cubic and after that you cannot solve it directly maybe i use some calculator and i found the value of this beta is coming out to be 0 0.46463 okay and this value of alpha if we substitute here and then we try to find the lambda value we are getting 4.88798 okay so this gives you two possible values one is lambda is equal to 2 from that case and other value of lambda from the other case that is 4.88798 if you add them answer should be like this okay which is not given in any of the option in fact they have not thought of the second case that is why you know this kind of you know cubic they might not have you know given a thought to it because this kind of thing cannot be solved in the exam so maybe they would have given you that at which vertex they want 90 degree to be there then only you can solve this kind of question in the exam otherwise this is not possible so that is one question that i am claiming that is not correct in je mains 2025 29 january second shift okay that is one now i'll give you two more question as of now i am having these two question two more questions i'll see if i can get more such questions or not so that is the question please see this question is saying that fx is equal to x square minus 1 into mod of x square minus ax plus 2 plus cos of mod x. It is not differentiable at two point. One is x is equal to alpha is equal to 2 and other is x is equal to beta. The distance of the point we have to find. Okay. Now please see cos mod x is nothing but cos x as we know cos minus x is equal to cos x. So I can say this function fx is nothing but x square minus 1 into mod of x square minus ax plus 2 plus cos x. Now cos x is a differentiable function. x square minus 1 is also a differentiable function. So only reason why it can be non-differentiable is the modulus of this quadratic thing. As they have already said, it is not differentiable at x is equal to 2. That means x is equal to 2 should be root of this quadratic. Okay, that's a very standard approach. So here if I put x is equal to 2, I will be getting this to be equal to 4 minus 2a plus 2, which gives you a is equal to 3. Okay, now if I put a equal to 3 here for this quadratic, we are getting x square minus 3a, 3x plus 2, whose factors are x minus 1, x minus 2. Okay, x minus 2 has to be there because we know started with x is equal to 2. Okay, now so as per their question, x minus 1 should be giving you another point of non-differentiability. Okay, because mod is only on this quadratic. There, there is no point where you can get any point of non-differentiability. So x is equal to minus 1 should give you point of non-differentiability as per them. So alpha is equal to 2, they have given already. So beta will become equal to 1. Okay, and after that you can find the distance of this point from this line that comes out to be I think 3. This is how they have solved it. But the problem here is, please listen carefully, that if you consider this graph, if you consider this function, yeah, if you consider this function that fx is equal to x square minus 1 mod of x square minus 3x plus 2 plus cos x. Okay. Now here you can see x minus 1 is a factor. Here also x minus 1 is a factor. So because x minus 1 becomes repeated factor. So x is equal to 1 becomes a repeated root. You will not have point of non-differentiability at x is equal to 1. Please understand because of repeated root phenomena. Okay. And that's a very standard thing because of repeated root phenomena x equal to 1 will no more be point of non-differentiability x is equal to 1 at x is equal to 1 fx is differentiable that is my claim okay 
you can do it by splitting in two parts that is not needed at all so it's a very standard thing that whenever inside mod you are having a repeated root okay there your derivative becomes zero after that also before that also rsd lsd both become zero zero here also you can check your rsd lsd at x is equal to one will become zero zero so this function will be differentiable so beta does not exist okay they are saying two point x is equal to alpha and x is equal to beta there is no other point of non-differentiability there is just one point of non-differentiability that is alpha is equal to two so this question is also in my opinion you know they have missed that part maybe this x square minus one should not be this thing some other factor if they would have taken in which x minus one was not there outside then this question could have been a very good question so here in this case no answer is correct actually after this question doesn't make any sense there is no beta so how you can solve it further okay so that is question number two now one more question okay by the way this question was also from this was also from 29th shift january second shift these two questions were 29th january second shift so actually 29th january second shift so we are having two questions okay now there is one more question that is also very interesting i'll show you what's the problem in that question and that question is from that question is from sequence and series and that was asked in 22nd january 22nd january first shift very first shift actually okay i was discussing this question with my one of the student and that student pointed out to me that this question is not correct okay let me show you why this question is not correct how we do such question we are you know taking this as sum of n terms sn okay and after putting n minus 1 in place of sn we will be getting s minus 1 and we'll take the difference of these two will give you as uh, this will give you tn this will give you tn okay so we have to you know take the difference of this expression by one more expression that will be taken when n is replaced by n minus 1 okay so let me do this thing so my sn is this thing okay so uh, sn minus 1 would be 2n minus 3 2n minus 1 if i replace n by n minus 1 that will be 2n plus 1 and that will be 2n plus 3 okay whole divided by 64 so if we take the difference of these two i think we will get this common these two also common and 64 also common so 2n minus 1 2n plus 1 2n plus 3 upon 64 and if you subtract 2n plus 5 minus 2n minus 3 we will be getting 8 here so this is what we are getting sorry this was 64 so we are getting 8 here okay so this is the tn now my problem here is that if you put n is equal to 1 okay this sum of n terms formula should also give you t1 because sum of one term means t1 itself and here also if you put n is equal to 1 you will get first term now let us do the calculation see what we are getting when we are put n is equal to 1 here and we put n is equal to 1 here in from the first one we are getting this will be 1 this will be 3 1 3 5 7 i think you know, upon 64 1 3 5 7 if we put n is equal to 1 so this becomes 3 into 5 15 into 7 1 0 5 upon 64 whereas if you put it here what you will get t1 is equal to 1 3 5 3 into 5 15 15 upon 8 okay you can see these are two different values I'll tell you the reason why this is happening. Actually, whenever this kind of series are given, where sum from 1 to n, you are given as some polynomial in n, maybe quadratic for AP, cubic when difference of terms are in AP, biquadratic when difference of difference of two consecutive terms are in AP, you will have to have sum of n terms such that there is no constant term in it. There is no constant term in it. What I am saying, like in quadratic, uh, sorry, in AP, if you remember, sum of n terms is what? A n square plus B n, quadratic with no constant term in it. If you are having a series whose two consecutive terms are 
their difference are in AP, then this sum becomes a cubic in an N, but there is no there is no constant term. Likewise, okay. So here, what mistake they have made is they have made the mistake that if you put n is equal to 0, you are getting a non-zero constant. You can see. See that n is equal to 0. If you put, you are getting minus 1, my 1, so minus 1, 3 into 5, 15. So if you add 15 by 64, if you add 15 by 64, then you can see the constant term will get cancelled and then this question will become correct okay in fact you can check from here what i am telling you here that if you add 15 by 64 here so 120 by 64 will be 15 by 8 okay so then this question will become correct but with this data this question is wrong after that if somebody is you know going with this tn then this question is giving you correct answer but this tn is not possible for this sum of n terms so dear students this question is wrong i hope you are getting what i'm saying tn i think this is how you have found one upon tr and this way you, you know using that vn method telescopic sum we get the answer but the problem is that t1 from the given uh, relation and t1 from this tn we are getting two different values so that is why this question is wrong in my opinion okay so these are three questions our students have you know uh, our student have applied they have you know claimed for bonus let us see how j means response i'm sure these three questions should be given as bonus in first question because you know we are not given which angle it is 90 degree okay and they cannot they cannot assume that that it will be 90 degree at n they are ne never there they have not given anywhere that it is angle this angle n is 90 degree and because two angles at n and m if you take 90 one by one you are getting real answers though you are getting one with very you know dirty calculation but still you are getting some answer so it has to be included in that answer so this should be bonus because they cannot give you answer as four or five by two okay and likewise this question here because beta doesn't exist in this question then also they should give you the bonus in this question because you cannot find the distance of alpha beta if beta doesn't exist okay and likewise here because this t n thing cannot be found from this relation because there this sum is given wrong by assuming that by taking the difference of two you are getting t n and then one upon t n using telescopic sum you are getting answer is is wrong this relation has to be correct then only this question makes sense so this is all from my side for today thank you so much bacho i'll try to bring few more questions not only disputed some good questions in fact my next uh, plan is to give you a series on tough questions of j mains you know phase one entire all list of tough questions i'll i'm preparing i'll give you very soon i'll give you i'll try to give you one more one or two or more solutions for each and every questions and psyche behind those questions when they were created if i can find out something very unique i will share with you so that is all for today thank you so much bye everyone